What up, everyone? MCI ADP Studios, Mixing It Up Podcast. I think we're doing like episode seven, but I said on the Phil one, I'm going to stop naming shit because I like, I'm not going to remember the episode number. I mean, it helps for labeling it, but you know. Anyway. Say that for editing. Los is back. Los is in the building. Los is back again. We said on the first podcast, if you haven't checked that out, the link will be in the description. But if you haven't checked that out, we said on there we're going to do some podcasts together. We're going to he's going to be a frequent guest on the Mixing It Up podcast. So today we're going to talk about some focus topics. I know we kind of went on some other things on the last one. So how you doing, bro? I'm all right, man. Yeah, Thanks for good? having me again. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. It's been been fun. Nice. Hanging out, man. Yeah. So we always uh mixing it up really in real life, you know what I'm saying? So Yeah. Uh, but today we're going to talk about a little more focus, maybe some hot topics, if you will, some current events, some um, things right. Los wants to talk about as well. So yeah, I got gonna, some some additions in here. Yeah. So yeah. So bring a little liveliness to it, but it's going to be more kind of a current event, a current events edition of the podcast. So um, okay, okay. Yeah. So let's uh, let's get into it, man. But uh, this first of all, let me say what I want to say first. With the current events, everybody knows what happened. R.I.P. Juice World. R.I.P. S- Juice. Sad situation any any way you look at it. The podcast is always to educate and inspire. So it is a sad situation. The negati- the negativity around it is just absurd, though. Like, like I don't understand. Like, why do we live in the, the, the type of environment where you got to downplay a young man's passing that was on the uprise no matter what under the circumstances it's just a sad situation yeah you know everybody is sensitive now or uh you know the internet just give everybody a a platform to just say the most insensitive weird weirdo shit you know <laughs> weirdo <laughs> shit is like yeah like that's some the tip of the shit. iceberg bro yeah it's like some weirdo shit like yeah. the, i ain't finna give it no lighter to what i seen but the stuff that i seen it's like come on bro yeah like it's every I know that I love telling jokes and all that, you know, but at some point, like, come on, man, relax. Yeah. <laughs> what, Let that you... joke slide. It ain't that serious. I'll tell it in 10 years or some five years to like right after this. It's how you clout chasing off death. Yeah. Like, that's the ultimate sucker shit to me. Like, you clout chasing off death. That... Somebody died and you can't wait to tell a joke about it so you can get a bunch of likes. There ain't no uh, integrity in that. Yeah, and that's like it's like whack one hundred still talking about Nipsey. Sure. You know, yeah. it's just some some shit. It's just it's just lame. And and so what does that do? Get some um, engagement for and some attention to you by saying some vile stuff for like two seconds, and in the long run, it just kind of makes you look like trash. And then somebody honestly. catch you and beat you up over right. it and then you know you're a victim and you sue. It's a lot of ways to <laughs> it's a lot of ways to come up from being a sucker, man. That's the that's the problem. Like you could be a sucker now and you could just you could win, you know? You could be like a the kid that told on everybody. I mean giving him no light either. But <laughs> right. Right, right. Well, you know, with the podcast, I I, I want to keep things light fun inspiring happy um but i just didn't want to touch on that yeah but rp juice it's sad because you just talked about how like you bump his shit all the time man i'm like a fanatic like i love juice i went to see him uh in a show i had i had kind of liked him before i seen the show but i wasn't like all the way in i just i knew lucy dreams was fire you know everybody else and then i went and seen him perform and i just seen how like the music was dope like and it's I'll tell you a good story. Like, I've been to a million concerts. He was, you know, when you go to a concert, you know the artist, you know, so you know the music. You, the sound is is horrible in concerts, right. you know, because you already know the music. <laughs> yeah. You drunk. Right. He was one of the first artists I went to his concert and I heard the music and I became a fan of hearing hearing him in concert, which never happens. Like, I seen mad dudes in concert who I might have go went and checked them out, but just listening to him in concert. He was wavy on 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 his show, like his show, his music was dope. It was it was next level. So he wasn't really like everybody say like a depressing. Right. I mean, it, you know, it's some emotions, but it yeah. wasn't all depressing. Yeah. Like he made real. I identify with it, and he was twenty one, so he he was timeless. Yeah, he was sad all the timeless. Right, like 
<laughs> I do. You know, I say that though. Like uh, I always say, it's important to put on a good show because even some of my favorite shows that I've ever seen in concert, I've seen t tons of fucking concerts, but are still artists that I don't even really care for. But I, their show was so mesmerizing that it was still one of the best shows I went to. Like Marilyn Manson. Like after I go back and listen to some of his shit, like. I don't fuck with his shit at all, but like, remember seeing him in concert, like right when he was on his peak, like this still one of my favorite shows. Now, ever. So I literally being able to turn a fan or keep a memory in your mind—that's that's a special gift. Yeah, he like the only person. I no cap. I left the concert, went home, and looked up like legends. All girls are the same. Wasted. Like, all, I just went, like, I could go home. It's like, I know I heard that. I heard that. They all fired. They like my favorite songs from them. So yeah. I listen to that dude every day. So that was a waste. Of, that was a, a bad situation. <laughs> yeah. So RIP Juice, uh, we're going to move on now. Um, we said what we had to say about that. Uh, let's talk about this <laughs> fucking everybody's talking about it. Let's talk well, about we it. It's a current event. I mean, oh, the I current, know, current. I don't even know what I have to say about this, but let's just see what the fucking Nick Cannon thing. Like, what? Cannon! <laughs> What's up, bro? Cannon, Cannon said, look, man. Come on. I, look. What the fuck? Eminem struck first. Yeah. He said his name because yeah. I just played the album. I didn't yeah. even know where it Fat came Joe, from. Right? Yeah, he was um, on Fat, Fat Joe's, Joe's album album. So that's Fat what Joe happened. album. Yeah, yeah. Because I I don't want to spit on facts. Like I'm not here to say I'm I, I know everything about these topics that we're speaking right. on. But yeah. from what I know, Eminem was on the Fat Joe thing, which Fat Joe's trying to make a resurgence. It seems like Fat He's Joe to eating back. off this, by the way. Eminem on one of your tracks it's yeah. not a fucking bad thing to have yeah, no matter if you fuck with Eminem or not if he's on one of your tracks people are gonna listen to the thing yeah Mariah so he shot he said something about both of them apparently Mariah mm -hmm. and Nick Cannon or one or the yeah. other he went there yeah okay he went in on Which, him and then Nick let responded me just say, can I say something real quick Eminem has made his career off of saying shit about people since the first day the real Slim Shady, or no, that was the second shit, but uh, his very first, Hi My Name Is, he was making fun of Bill Clinton, Marilyn Manson, everybody from the beginning. So it's kind of something he's always done, was always call out celebrities and talk shit about it's them. Just so like, I really don't know in his point in his career why he still has to do that. I don't know. I mean, Eminem ain't really that dope. And he losing to Nick Cannon, too, by the way, because at this point, Nick Cannon got two disses out, and you started it. So, like, 20 years later, you still, man, come on, man. Mariah Carey must got, like, I, I, I even Power. heard the old. Power. Hold on, look, though. <laughs> I, I listened to the old track when he was talking about Mariah only let you hit twice. You said that in your own song. Yeah. Like, okay, so two times, and you still 20 years later? Like, you was begging for the box 20 years ago, and you still talking about this girl, so you look like the sucker in this. I don't, sometimes you got to, you know, separate that rap. Like, what is you doing? Why you bring that up? Like, that was corny. Even if, you know, just take the battle them. It's good yeah. for hip-hop because I like what Nick had to get his homies to jump him, but they, you know, the first track was kind of weak. Yeah. Super weak. Not yeah. kind of. It was super weak. But the second one, it's kind of fire, so... You know, M, M is kind of overrated to me. You know, that's been one of my uh, biggest criticisms be between me and my homies or me and, you know, hip-hop. Well, I feel like Eminem is never really, for him to be like this great battle rapper, it's like best battle that I see was on 8 Mile. So, yeah, never well, really he did grow him. up doing that. You know, at, he did grow up battle rapping and doing all that type of shit. You know, that was kind of his background, but... uh I want to read what uh, Joyner said. He said, hey, Nick Cannon, you better stop rap jumping my Ann Marshall before me. 50 Royce, Crooked Eye, Lloyd Banks, J. Cole, Kendrick, Logic, Tech Nine, Big Sean, and King Los get busy on your ass. Pause. Keep playing. So uh, Joyner Lucas had something to say about that. I ain't like Joyner because he made some. Man, he a culture vulture. <laughs> so always, yeah we talk about Em and Lit Nick anyway so yeah it, it's kind of crazy to me I, you know I don't know I ain't really. I feel like Jordan Lucas is a culture vulture I just put that out there bro yeah. he was just talking about Juice World, like and and your man he, he, he shot first so what you 
Yeah, he jumped to me, Nick Cannon. He ain't he can't rap. Right. <laughs> like he's yeah. a rapper, but he was Nick versus versus Eminem, it's not gonna go right for him. So he just was this smart. But I feel like even even though Nick uh M did it on some on some sucker shit. And I'm a fan of Eminem too. I like, you know, his first two albums was Yeah. I was like a teenager. They was dope. They I, they was crazy to me. But, you know, he came back on some hip hop shit. Like, come on wild and out and let's just Let's just, you know, make it a show. I kind of feel like, I heard somebody say it was like a setup. I kind of feel like it might be that too. Like, like a PR move. Like Nick, and, uh, PR Cannon, move. like Nick and M might be cool and he might be on, because that's like some. I think the world would love to see Eminem on Wild and Out. So right. It ain't like a big deal to me, but it's entertaining. Yeah. But it's it's no. PR. Jordan it's Lucas, sit down. Yeah. We're talking about <laughs> you on this podcast, bro. Make a hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The thing about Eminem is, is you know, I, I've been a fan of him for a long time. I do appreciate the way he puts things together and everything. I'm not a stan or anything. I fucking he's been weird because he's been able to bridge the gap between like pop and rap. So that's why he's like such a big selling artist. But a lot of the stuff that he's actually made it like popular off of like all those songs i talked about the corny songs about making fun of people them are all the shits i don't even like by him anyway i just like more yeah. of the serious shit anyway so i mean he got that corny he got shit, bars even really he even like. had yeah, he got bars, bars in that like, song that i was like and that he, was hard i mean you know just but, being able to put slaughterhouse together on whatever you know being a part of that he's and, probably in like a little identity crisis but you know i did yeah. say he probably gonna end a couple careers though yeah. so i'm not sleeping on him at all like he he can't stop Nick Cannon from doing nothing, but you know the guys that's around him. I don't think that was the best career move for the battle rappers that did it. Just like, oh, on that yeah, track, yeah, pick y'all apart. Yeah, yeah. I would have. I don't know, man. You know they roll, they roll with the team. Yeah, you know? I, I, mean, I just got Nick winning now. I don't think at the end of the day, if exactly. Eminem jump in the bag, that he's gonna lose. Well, I mean, to, he's also but, got these Griselda cats on his side. Yeah, he too. got a lot of he got he, Griselda. Those hard. guys ain't got nothing but bars to give. Yeah, they ridiculous. <laughs> That's all they have. Is but then you look at who bars. M got Charlie Clips conceded like them battle rappers. Yeah. Right. Period. They don't battle on tracks with the. They got. That's all they do is bars. So right. it may, it could be entertaining for hip hop. I say that for sure. Yeah, but it's definitely M&M the entertainment battle. part. I don't think you should read any into any more. I think the end or... of this, we should all just come up with the that Mariah has probably got some of the best something that the world <laughs> has to offer. Because all right, man. <laughs> I, I, I'm picking up. Shout out to now. Mariah Carey, yeah. man. Women to do it, boy. Uh, yep. Yeah, they broke up the rock, I heard. Yeah. Oh, female, not Mariah Carey. <laughs> all right, so let's move on from that. Did you say what you had to say about that? Like I yeah, said, man. I didn't have much to say. I said yeah, what I had to say. that was one of them I had to. We had to talk oh, about shit. that because that's popping right now. Like, yeah, it's funny sure. too. Like it's entertaining. At this point, where I observe music, I don't get into it, and it is entertaining. It's funny. It's like what? I don't know. He did say some some uh, before we move. He said that one uh, Eminem was you know messing with a dude in <laughs> in the limo. Oh yeah, and then M, and then M had tweeted back like. <laughs> you an arrogant, a bougie prick or something. Yeah. Like <laughs> Eminem is funny, you know, like I don't yeah. know. But yeah. He's uh, he's like always poking the bear, you know what I'm saying? So let him battle, man. Yeah. We need more excitement in hip hop yeah. besides all this other I, I don't think he's gonna lay down because he didn't let MGK say he shit. Should be, so he should he, be dropping soon. Yeah, like probably by the time, you know what so. I'm saying? All right, so what Let's let's go on. What's some shit you want to talk about? So you got a couple things written down, uh, a couple things on the agenda. Uh, what you trying to? Speak I was just piggybacking off you with the uh, on the clock with the artists. Okay. You wanted to talk about the the who was who had the bars or whatever. I guess. I mean, who had the hottest songs out? Yeah. So, um, I mean, I, I would I would say like who's just being consistent right now around here. What are some um, good things that opinion, you've seen? I think Dolo Twenty Four is okay. pretty consistent. Yeah, he's very consistent. Actually, I think he got a fan base that's growing. Uh, he young. He got that going for him. Uh, yeah, young got a fan base. He put a lot of content out. So, you know, hopefully, he got a team behind him that's 
you know, helping him build his brand and his image. And he uh, focused on putting out good music and stuff like that. So I like I like him for being like the top gunner just off age because, you know, it's a youth sport too. So yeah, for sure. He's he the got youngest. a lot of great I think he's the youngest. Too. I'm pretty sure he's the youngest, not just rapping, but the youngest that's making noise. So I like him. Uh, I always got to give a shout out to Neat Got It because he's yeah. been consistent for like three years, yeah. I think, at least. Doing doing cool stuff, too, different yeah, video like ideas Neek. and just yeah. giving back like every Great. day. Both of those guys, too, like really like both Neek of those Neat should guys. probably move. Neek. It's probably his next step is just to leave Muskegon. That's just my opinion. Yeah. You know, I'm not, you know, who am I? But I just think he probably. The way he moving, the stuff he doing, the things that he trying, I think his next move is to go somewhere where it's actually an industry at. So that's what I think. Like, I don't think, you know, there's no industry here. So yeah. you, you can make it from anywhere, but I'm just saying I think he got, he seemed like he got the access and, and the resources and the brain and the creativity yeah. to be yeah, able to go sure. set up somewhere and try to, and try to build off of that. Because I think he kind of got Muskegon. I think he got the respect here. So Neek. Uh, my boy Ko, the young homie, just came home. Ko Kwan, you know, he was like my top favorite artist here. I seen off. him with Benny in the studio the other day. Yeah, I seen that too. So, and which is my other guy, but Ko, yeah, just off. Uh, Ko is just talented, man. Ko is talented, and his voice is is kind of like an instrument. Like I hear people say about Young Thug, I'm not the biggest Young Thug fan, but I get the instrument voice thing, and I think Ko can like do a lot of stuff nice. with his voice that other people can't do. So I'm anticipating whenever he comes out with something and uh, make some noise with that. Um, Co, uh, CTM Co, uh, still got like. Um, Two of my favorite songs, as far as the uh, That Way song. And uh, man, what's the name of that song? And I'll be singing that song all the time, too. I forgot, dog. The song, shout, it's a song when he talking about he got the sticks or something like that. Shout, shout <coughs> out uh, Cole, though. He's been over here a handful of times. Super cool ass yeah, dude. Cole. And obviously, when we talk about any of this stuff with the local stuff, we just always want to put light, light on the game and light on these guys that are out here doing stuff. Doesn't yeah. mean... Th- some are the only guys doing stuff. Just and we ain't about to know. be prefacing that comment, bro. Get popping. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Get popping. That, you know? I just want to keep it in a We know it's a, a lot of like, rappers, but y'all not really making waves that I can hear. Like, you could be popping. Like, I don't know. I, it was so many people that said they didn't know who Joe's Juice World was. I got offended. Like, right. I don't know that dude. I, I thought but it was, I was like, weird. what? Like, and right. there was a lot of people who genuinely didn't know. So you never, you never know who know you are. So, you know, the kind of preferences, like, you know, it's all uh, these is personal. You know what I'm saying? Right. These are people that I like, mm-hmm. and I don't know these dudes like that either. I don't hang with them or nothing. Besides right. KO, right. Right. that's my guy. Yeah. But the, other than that, and Wait, then, wasn't you guys doing some stuff together? Yeah, yeah we did a project together. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we dropped a joint together. It's still my guy. He sent me music all this. He sent me yeah. some crazy. So you know, it ain't for me to speak on, but he sent me some crazy stuff. So yeah. I know he coming. And then I like uh, Young Rob. I like Young Rob and I like Triller, which is who do the beats. So yeah. like he got the uh, the vibes joint out. Hey, uh, Pressure, I think he got a song out called Pressure. And I had marketed for him one time on another joint, the uh, I Get High song with the Biggie feature. Okay. That was hard to me. That yeah. was like super hard. Yeah. So those guys right there, you know, shout out to them. It's a couple other little young guys that I see too. But we, you said consistent. So yep. these are the guys that I yep, see that, consistently. I, I agree with that. Do you see those guys consistently putting dropping out stuff? stuff. And that's the name of the game: is the consistency, the consistency of content, videos. Um, yeah, content, videos, shows. audio. Well, I don't see no shows though. Dolo just did a show, and he's doing another one coming up. So if he keeps it going, I don't know why I don't be seeing none of Dolo stuff. Yeah. I need to go follow him. I yeah. mean, I follow him on Instagram too. Yeah. So. But right. he was first, so right. he was excluded from that. Yeah. I'm just saying, Dolo does do shows. I'm doing a show with him soon too. All right, let's talk about some new albums, some stuff you vibing on, some stuff that's uh, what you liking right new now. New albums that dropped, I got five of them. Okay, you know I'm I had to go through. I had to get another one when you had sent me the the email or whatever. Like, let me go. Fab, uh, you've always been a fan though. I love Fab. Yeah. I, I'm not biased though. Because I got ratings on these joints. I gave Fab I gave Fab a four. 
which should be a, a you out know. of five scale. Yeah. Okay. If we're going four out of out of out five, of five scale. Okay. Yeah. So I gave Fab a four because he got uh, it's pretty much seventy percent of that project is dope, but you know it was kind of it's kind of regular. It's it's the normal Fab. It's so normal. okay. Uh, what is that? Um, what is it summertime shootout three? Summertime shootout three. I gave a four. Uh, I listened to the game, Born to Rap. I gave that a five. Ooh. Which is shocking because I haven't listened to game in years. Like, I don't, I feel like game was wave riding. A lot of people, like, I feel like he just forgot what he wanted to do and he just started sounding like everybody. And yeah. I don't know where he was going at with that. But. I, I've always been a fan of him, though. I don't know. Yeah. I've always thought that he's had he bars. Rap. I was a super fan of, you know, Black Wall Street, a lot of the other stuff. The, uh, he ended some of that. his first stuff. Yeah. Oh, you mean his first stuff? Yeah. Yeah, just like with like the first two, all the like you know what was it the documentary? Yeah, the documentary. Yeah. So like, I just was a super fan of him. Yeah, this one is like that. Super fan of him and his you know his mixtapes, and I just loved his shit. Yeah, this one like that. This this born to rap one is like that. Like I listen to it all the time, so I feel like you know if he is retiring, which you know how that go in rap. Yeah, he, he said that right. He did it the yeah, right way. Like a few albums. Yeah, but you know how that goes. So, mm-hmm. so the game born to rap. I gave it out of five. Yeah, okay. uh, listen to the new Griselda track, which is my new favorite guys out. Uh, Benny Benny the Butcher, yeah. uh, West yep. Side Gun, yep, uh, Conway, yeah, Conway the know. Machine. Yeah, it, so. Uh, I gave that a three and a half, Why? just because it it didn't really it didn't wow me. Everything was there as far as what I thought was gonna be there, but nothing nothing made me just even more go fan crazy over it than what I had already heard. So I think it was solid, and maybe you know if I when I listen to it like next month, it might be a four because I missed some stuff. But right now, just listening to it, comparing it to the other stuff that I've heard, I give it a three and a half because it's it's dope. It's dope, but it ain't crazy. You okay. know what I'm saying? I say that yeah. it's dope, but it ain't crazy. You gonna skip? You gonna skip three, four of them on the Griselda right. drum? Or yeah. they not? You know, yeah. some some songs you only want to hear at a certain time. And some songs is yeah, just crazy, listen. and you it don't matter. Like yeah, that's you don't your joint. To it every time. Like so I can't, I can't really identify with like what's my favorite song on there. But I know I like this, the album. So the one thing I like about those guys, though, is like it's almost like this. Everybody's talked for a long time. I'm tired of trap. I want something else to come back. I want some other kind of vibe. And I feel like with with those guys, like it's yeah. coming back more to that hip hop vibe, that more of the boom bap ish uh, mm-hmm. sampled type beats with the you know the drums, lyrics, the small drums, the the bars, the lyrics, the spitting. So like. Uh, uh, Confidence, I'm liking, the I'm liking, bragging. Yeah, the I'm liking, street bragging yeah, is right. different. It remind me of when Jeezy came back out like. People don't understand why certain people put Jeezy so high on their list is because it ain't what what he is how he's saying what he's saying like it's, how it's you don't understand what he's talking about so yeah. some he's saying is simple somebody who actually living that lifestyle is like man that's he hit it on the nose all the time so you know it's authentic and, yeah. and they got that the most the authenticity like West Side Gun is. Every other bar you talking about commissary, like where you uh, yeah. get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was another. Then we got my shocking one. Um, no, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna go to the, this other one. I heard Fat Joe joint. We mentioned Eminem on the joint. Fat Joe got a three and a half. It's a pretty dope album. Shocked yeah. by that one too. Somebody hit me and told me to listen to that one, and I was, you know, so you got a lot of features on there. I've, I'm not familiar. Do with we that got one. a lot of features on there? No, but it's him and Dre from Cool and Dre. Oh, okay. So him and so Dre is really the star on that. Like Dre, which I don't know where that came from, but Dre is really getting busy on that album. Oh, okay. Uh, what is it like? Family something? Family Affair. Okay. So Fat Joe album is three and a half, which is strong. So it's out of five. So grab that too. Then the last one. Never heard this dude before. One day. In my life, like I never listened to his music at all, but I liked him because I liked his interviews and his backstory. Uh-huh. But I seen his numbers was low, and you know, uh, academic excuse me said 
be whatever. Like, go stream his album because he ain't here no more. So, I went and checked it out. XXX Tentacion. Yeah. It's a five, man. Yeah. I didn't know. He's a superstar. I didn't even know You're that. Not, you weren't familiar with any of his other music? No. I knew so he was a superstar, though. His music is interesting. Um, his other catalog... Or some of his other songs are very interesting because they're like short songs. Bad vibes they're, forever. They're very, um, I, and I haven't checked out the new one yet, but the uh, they're just vibey. They're just like it's crazy because I know he was involved in some production. So, I mean, and when I'm like, listen, listen to my Fab the Game Griselda Fat Joe. I'm not even a really a big Fat Joe fan, but what I'm telling you that is for like my people that's rap heavy. Listen, man, that dude was a star. Now I understand why Game said that in the interview when he said he was going to be like Travis uh, Scott. Travis Scott? Oh, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he was going to be bigger than Travis Scott. Yeah. That dude was a rock star. Because when I'm listening to his album, I hear the hip hop, I hear lyrics, I hear trap music, and then I heard rock. Yeah. The good rock. Like the, the rock that when I was in the nineties, we kinda had good rock artists that we kinda um like uh what's some dudes name? I don't know, like uh like Fred Durst. Like oh, how like it was Limp kinda Biscuit. like K Rock. Yeah, okay, yeah. It was like real like, like a bridge bridge it, of hip hop rock. Yeah. I, I haven't you. really heard no rock music that was super fly in a long time. So I feel like if he was alive, he was about to be a mega star. He was about to be like bigger. I understand why everybody was saying all that crazy stuff like Drake wanted him out the way. If it's true or not, yeah. just saying rumors. Yeah, right. Or like Game said, he was gonna be this big. He was gonna be bigger than all of them. I think he would have been on that album, uh, as big as Lil Nas X was with his first album, I think he was getting ready to be the biggest star ever. And like, if he didn't have a whole bunch of white fan base already, which I'm sure he did, it was finna go to the next level. And that's just me listening from the first song on there. Like, I was amazed. Like, I, it was crazy to me. I get, I get, um, Two sided when it comes to like stuff that gets real popular because a lot of the times I don't like a lot of the stuff that the masses right. like just because it's kind of dumbed down for the masses. Right. So I kind of slept on the dude and one day I listened to his stuff and I was just vibed the whole time and I was like, yep, this dude's really talented. I definitely like this guy's stuff because it was very organic. It wasn't like somebody else was trying to make it for him. You know, it's like, hey, yeah. here's my art and this is what I took it as. And then people just gravitated towards that yeah. fact, not the fact that it was processed or produced by industry and all this shit. So a lot of good music was, been yeah, coming it out. It was very, very indie. That's yeah. what I liked about it. I shit, just couldn't so. even believe it. I was I'm amazed. I'm a, I'm listening to it today just because I haven't heard a project like that in so long. Like I had rap, I heard trap music, I heard like the the fly rock. That's what I'm making my own category. Right, like the yeah, fly right. rock yeah. where the where it's just it's dope. Like I didn't. I haven't heard nothing like that in a long time. It's sad that he gone because that was that album is crazy. I don't know how he ain't so like out. Like they say, maybe his fans now moved on because he passed away. But he should be number one, man. Yeah. Like Juice World is right now. Yeah. He should be number one. Yeah. So yeah, so. those my those are my top five right there. That's out. They're my top five industry. Because, okay. you know, I'm super so. in my own city with the shout out. So them the industry cats that I like right now, they projects all dope. All right, dope. So that pretty much sums up our current events, what we was going to talk about today. Obviously, yeah. we want to keep these kind of short. We can get these clips out, get this stuff out um, for people to check it out. But uh, once again, thanks for coming on the podcast, man. Obviously, we'll see you Bro, soon. Oh, wait, wait. Often. One yeah. more thing. Yeah. I need sure. everybody to... Uh, mark their calendars February 8th February a King's, 8th A King's First Queen Mother Son Dance Say Muskegon Hikes uh, 2244 Peck Street uh, It's a dance It's for all ages So You know Mother Son Doesn't matter your age If you wanna bring your I'm bringing my mom Okay So the whole vibe is a family event It's just about You know In my city It's a lot of young boys dying uh, rightful, uh, wrongful deaths. My bad. So, you know, we just trying to embrace the the mother son relationship, 
uh, the best way we know possible. That's the only thing I come up with. Let's have a dance, you know, where it's just mother son, and we just appreciate that relationship. So you know, we gonna party, photo booths, and you know, party games, prizes, and all that good stuff. You know, gotta always add some for the sh- for the streets. You know okay. what I'm saying? So yeah, I've been getting a lot of blessings and opportunities. So that's my. I want to do that too. Dope. I want to hang out with my moms too. I'll be busy. All right. I understand. So, thank you for that, bro. Um, Appreciate anything it. else before we wrap this all the way up? That was it. Los right, the King. Cool. Los the King. Uh, don't see ya. You guys have a Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah. Much love to Happy you. Happy holidays. Peace. See you.